All right, what's up, man? It's your boy Chino Chase. Right now, we got the Screwed Up Click legend with us, man. We got Mike D. Calion, man. What's going on? Man, man, huh? Yeah. What's going on? I appreciate you taking the time out your day to come and talk with us, especially on this special day. Already. That boy DJ Screw's birthday, man. He would have been 49. Man, for real, man. Shit crazy, though. It don't even seem like it, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, what was your favorite, like, most uh, uh, favorite screw tape that you was on that you can just remember that? I would have to say probably Codeine Speed, man. What uh, what was so special about that one for you? That was the first one. Yeah? Yeah, that was the first one. <clears throat> so, you know, that's my baby, you know? Yeah. Man, this nigga, this nigga Kiki beeping in. Hold on, let me tell him, hold up. That's <laughs> all good. Yeah, yeah, my bad. It's Kiki interrupting. Oh, all yeah, right, that's all good. He, he, trying, he trying to birthday me. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Birth, I spoke our birthday two days apart, so we be we be we used to celebrate every day, you know, every every year. Yeah. What, do y'all remember what was the last thing y'all did on the last birthday y'all got to actually hang out? Man, um, yeah. Riding in that impala. Yeah, you know I'm saying we had, he had just got it painted. So shit, we was uh, he had just got it out the shop. So we just rolled like down the Galveston in the in the Impala with the choppers, you know. Uh, yeah, and that that Impala, yeah, it was black before you painted it blue. Yeah, it was black with regular rims. It was just factory black. Yeah. Um, that first CD, um, the um, the Coding Fiend mixtape. I mean, the Screw Tape. Uh, you linked up with Lil Randy, right? To to do that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lil Randy took me over there, although I had already knew him. But Lil Randy, they, nobody knew that I could really flow. So he used to come up to my brother detail shop a lot, screw. And then I knew him through Michael Price. And uh, see, they they took me over Randy. We was flowing at Randy house. He was like, man, you got me fucked up, man. You should <laughs> go over here and do it. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, yeah, we did that. Like, cause I've never like got to like actually see anybody like freestyle and there wasn't really like no videos or stuff out like that. So like everything was kind of more just off music. I never, I always try to envision of like what the inside looked like or where y'all are like freestyling it. And like, I've seen like pictures. In the wood room. Yeah, everything was in the wood room. That was the first where it said it all Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. That's the, and that's what I tell people. We'd have had a camera like back then, shit, we'd be millionaires. <laughs> they could have seen some of the shit going on in that motherfucker. Yeah. Was that Screw's house? That was at Screw's dad's house? Well, that was at his first house. It wasn't his dad's house. That was at his house. Oh, it was actually Screw's house. And I seen there was a, um, they always have that apartment, uh, 10, 210. Is that like an apartment? What, what was all that about? That was, that was his dad's house. Oh, that was an apartment? And then what about the one like when he had the uh, the gray studio foam and all that? That was a different screw house. Yeah, that was his house in Most City in Quail Valley. Oh, uh, Most City. And y'all would do like a lot of the recording in there, like other than screw yeah, tapes. Or was yeah, yeah, that was the last. Yeah, yeah, that was the I was in jail when I got out of jail. He had moved over there, and uh, he had just got there like two thousand or something like that. Yeah, 99, 2000, some shit like that. And the first one was the one with the gate where everybody used to get the scooter. Yeah, and on some of the songs, man, Screw says, uh, he'll say like another screwed up production. Was like Screw was like into making like beats? Of course. Yeah, he did Hellraiser. Oh, uh, yeah. And that was like, he had the, like, there's a Hellraiser song and then the freestyle. Well, they, they, we made the Hellraiser song after he passed away. Okay. But the, it was meant to be a song, but when we walked in, the beat was playing, and of course, we like, you know, shit, started flowing on it, and, and, and Pokey walked in while I was flowing, me and Hard Job. So it was me and Hard Job, and then Pokey walked in, so that's kind of how all screw tapes was. Whoever walked in or came in was like, you know, part of the taste. Yeah. So if we was just bullshitting around and then it became a tape. That wasn't even that wasn't even supposed to be out for, for regular. It, it, it got leaked some kind of way. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I always just wonder that when he said like another screwed up production, I just wanted to see uh, clear that up. Because we always listen to that Hellraiser beat and he says about him doing that, so I just wanted to ask that. Yeah, you did that beat, yeah. Yeah. And what about, um, I know like Screw, a lot of people used to take him vinyls for him to like chop up your songs and like that. You used to take him like your own vinyl? Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 where, that's where the Swain Dang come from. And he would he ask for certain songs, or that was like the songs you're promoting at the time, or was it like some custom vinyls, or was it like stuff you're putting out? You take it, nah, you take it to him, and shit, if he like it, see, he gonna chop it up. Yeah. See, whatever we were promoting at the time. A lot of them records, did y'all put like acapellas on there, or were they just straight songs? Yeah, we did the acapella. That was the the, the vinyl days. That's when you put the acapella, the instrumental. And then the song, and then the radio song. Uh, and so that's how he uh, scratched on that swing down at the end. Yeah. Where did y'all record that that swinging down at? You say you put that out after him, after he passed? Yeah. Well, well, swing down was first recorded at Ultimate Sounds. That was a song with uh, me and Pat Pat. <coughs> and when I got that, we had lost the vocals to Pat. So we had to redo it, and we ended up putting three two on that. But no, we found uh, Pat Pat vocals, and uh, we used his vocals, and we used my vocals, and then well, we had Corey Blunt on that, and we couldn't find Blunt uh, vocals, so we used three two, and then that's how three two got on it. Uh, Y'all was kicking it with three two real tough at that time, right? Yeah, that was my brother. Me and three two were best friends all the way from like fourteen, fifteen years old. Oh, yeah, where'd y'all meet at? Like school? School time? No, we met at Short, short Stop Records. Oh, yeah, Short Stop. Yeah, that was when we all was signed to Lil Troy. Oh. On Scott and Lydia. Boys don't know about that. That was way for school. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was your favorite, like, um, like the screw? Like, I guess, like, um, because he used to chop up, like, a lot of songs, man. A lot of different, like, different songs. Like, I really, like... All the Tupac songs that he used to chop up like that. What kind of what, what songs were you into? Man, I'm I'm kind of like you, either Sibo or, or Tupac. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like because he loved Sibo so much. <coughs> we was real big Tupac fans. He was real big Sibo fan. So, you know what I mean? He put us on that Sibo. So I used to like to hear him chop up his favorite artist, Sibo. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so what you got coming up next, man? What you got putting out? What you well, working we on? We're doing the two the hard way. Me and Rose, we doing two the hard way. I got a little solo album dropping after that. And then shit, most of that, I'm just, you know, looking for new talent. Trying to, you know, I'm building a studio, so I'm just trying to, you know, find the next talent that's in Houston that's ready to do something, that's ready to work. All right, man. Hell yeah. And I already see you working that last time, man. It was a... Uh... A good day out there when we shot with Michael Ortiz, the Superstar Remix video, man. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Yeah, man, because I... Free big, yeah. free big baby, man. Yeah, you know what I'm Yeah, man, because I grew up listening to all your music, like, just coming up, man. And then just that day we shot shot that video and just everybody was coming up, man. It was a surreal day, man. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was nice. That was real surreal, that. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you, man, uh, taking the time to chop it over here on Screws B-Day, man. Know what it is, bro. If you need me for anything, let me know. Alrighty, man. We'll take it easy.